Google, founded in 1998, is the world's largest search engine that handles 70% of online searches. Google has changed how we find the information online and connect with people. It is one of the most valuable brands in the world and also one of the biggest employers in the tech industry and regularly makes in the list of the best companies to work for. Every software engineer dreams of getting a job at Google to reach the top of their career. Recently, there is a news that Google has laid off around 200 employees from its core team. What does it mean for India? Is your dream broken? Should you worry? No, I will explain what this news really means. Yes, it's true that Google has laid off a lot of its employees from its offices in the US, but they have done this to hire more people in India. Google India may apni growth or expansion per agle 5 saalon mein 10 billion dollars se jyada invest karne ka plan bana raha hai. Working for a company like Google is like ultimate dream for most of us. Humne itni baar logo se ye bolte hue suna hoga. बस गूगल जैसी कंपनी में जॉब मिल जाए मजा आ जाएगा तो गूगल जैसे ही क्यों? गूगल में ही जॉब लगाने के तरीके बताते हैं स्पेशली नाउ सिंस दे आर एक्टिवली हायरिंग पीपल इन इंडिया तो ये एकदम परफेक्ट टाइम है इन दिस वीडियो यू विल फाइंड टॉप फॉर गूगल बिहेवियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन वट वैल्यूज गूगल लुक फॉर इन इट्स एम्प्लॉज गूगल टेक्निकल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन फॉर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर रोल एज फ्रेश एंड एक्सपीरियंस कैंडिडेट सो बिफोर वी डाइव इन टू द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड देर आंसर एट्स क्विकली अंडरस्टैंड ओवरऑल रिक्रूटमेंट प्रोसेस एट गूगल वाइल द प्रोसेस में डिफर स्लाइटली फॉर डिफरेंट रोल्स और टीम्स द बेसिक्स आर द सेम Whether you are applying for a tech job or a marketing job, there are seven different rounds starting from resume screening all the way to salary negotiation. To know the hiring process at Google in detail, I will suggest to go through Google career page. I am in the process of making a video on it to make the process easier and simpler for you. So you can also subscribe to this channel. Google's interview process usually involves 15 to 25 interviews, which took around six to nine months to complete. Google realized that it was a bit too much even for them. So now the process is quite small, with around four to nine rounds, typically three to four interviews. Interviews one day, either over video or in person. Through these interviews, Google assesses your skills and sees if you and the role are a good match. Google interviews candidates using these simple methods: structured interviews. Every candidate is assessed using clear rubrics to keep it fair, open-ended questions to learn how you solve problems, how your mind works, how you interact with the team, and what your strengths are. Now, let's learn the type of questions Google asks in the behavioral interview round. Whether you are a fresher or an experienced developer, your performance in the behavioral interview is crucial. Here are the top four Google interview questions. I have also suggested ways to answer these questions. First up, we have the classic Google brain teaser. How many golf balls can you fit in a school bus? Through this question, Google wants to see how you think. What is your problem-solving process? So start with assumptions, break down the problem, and walk them through your logic. Next question, you are asked to reverse a linked list on this spot. What do you do? Remember, it's important to explain your thinking clearly before you start coding. Google likes candidates who talk about their thoughts and consider special cases. Here is another tricky question that. That Google recruiters like to ask. Tell me about a time you failed. This question really isn't about explaining your failures. Rather, Google wants to see how you have learned and grown from your experiences. So, so pick a story where you faced a challenge, explain what you learned, and most importantly, how it made you better. Last but not least, always expect a question around why Google. There is no best answer to any question. Be honest and authentic in your answer. Research about your culture, products, and recent innovations. Behavioral interviews conducted by Google are also often called Googliness and leadership, with the aim to find out if a candidate is a culture fit for it or not. Here is what Google look for while hiring: How you think, leadership skills, role-related knowledge, Googliness. It's tricky to define Googliness. It keeps evolving. It's not just about being skilled. It's about how do you work, how you think, and how you interact with others. Google's advice to aspiring Googlers: Be prepared to discuss how you have used your communication and decision-making skills to mobilize others. This might be by stepping up to a leadership role at work or within an organization, or by helping a team succeed even when you weren't officially the leader. Share how you work individually and on a team, how you help others, how you navigate ambiguity, and how you push yourself to grow outside of your comfort zone. So here is a bonus tip for you: use the STAR method, situation, task, action, result, to structure your answers and familiarize yourself with the Google Score Ten values. Now let's move on to the next round, the technical interview. It would be role specific interview to access your knowledge and skill. Now let's move on to the next round, the technical interview. It would be role specific interview to access your knowledge and skill. First, I will focus on the technical interview questions for fresher software engineer role. Explain the difference between a while loop and a for loop in programming, where you used a specific data structure, example array, linked list, and why it was the best choice. How would you approach debugging a logical error in your code? Explain the concept of 
caching and its benefit in web development. What are some common HTTP status code? Example 200, 404. And what do they represent? Now let's take a look at some technical interview questions for software engineering role for experienced candidates. Again, you can pause the screen to take screenshot of your reference. How would you evaluate the performance of a machine learning model? Discuss common metrics like accuracy, precision, and recall. Explain the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning. When would you use each? How would you debug a JavaScript error on a web page? Explain how you would handle database failures in a distributed system. In this video, I have tried to cover lots of tips and top interview questions. I will suggest you to go through Google interview tips page to understand what Google expects. Intanshala offers several options in areas like full stack development, UI UX design, data science and more. You can check out the link in the description box below for more details. There are more practice interview questions on Intanshala blog for your practice. The link are also in the description box below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. All the best.